If the screen is how you watch the world, the notch is how the world watches back. You probably know the notch as the name for the cutout in the screen for the camera. Older phones have a wide enough bezel around the edge that the camera could hide inside it. But now, as screens get bigger and devices get thinner, that camera has to go somewhere. Some phones are going with hole punch cutouts, some laptops have little foreheads, some cutting edge displays are trying to hide the camera behind the screen. And many folks want this. Give us pure screen, give us pure tech. But if the screen is how you watch the world, and the notch is how the world watches back, we should want to remember that we are being watched. We shouldn't want to hide the notch. Dr. Seuss bar. I'm, of course, speaking metaphorically, the camera isn't always on. The data collection is, though. Wanting the notch to go away can be read as a desire for a willful ignorance of digital surveillance. Yes, I am being tracked. No, I, I don't want to be reminded. There is another interpretation. We want the bezels to disappear because we want technology to get out of the way more and increasingly. We want technology not just to do what we want, but to guess what we want. Play me some music I'll like, show me a show I'll like. TikTok itself is a medium nearly purely based on algorithmic recommendation systems. The more time passes, the more we expect these machines to know what we want before we even know ourselves. If the dying command of Socrates was know thyself, the maxim of our day is let thine algorithms know thyself. We want this so badly that we freely give access to our data. That access has left us vulnerable to disinformation campaigns in a way that not even George Orwell saw coming. I'll leave up two screenshots that are breadcrumbs for the next video um, where we'll look at one intellectual that did see this coming, not in the 90s, but in, in 1943. Oddly enough, C.S. Lewis. This is kind of a high concept conclusion for a three minute TikTok, but you're smart and you're still here. So here we go. As time passes, it is less and less clear whether we are choosing things ourselves or whether the machines are choosing them for us. The day that the bezels disappear isn't just the day that the screen loses its edges. It's the day that we lose the boundaries of ourselves and not to some transcendent benevolent God, but to the digital Olympian deities of our day. Zuckerberg's Meta, China's ByteDance, Alphabet's Google, NSA's Prism.